Okay, let's add a cool half tone effect to the background of this image that I've got here. So I've got a folder full of color layers. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to merge this into one layer. And now that I've got this, I'm going to modify the contrast. What I'm looking for is to keep the light colors very light, the dark colors dark, but without crushing all the stuff in the middle. So we're going to go edit, tonal correction, contrast. We're going to boost the contrast here, and then we're going to change the brightness like this. So these light spaces very light. We've got some nice middle bits and some contrasty dark bits. So now I'm going to change this to a tone. And you're like, oh no, this is black and white. That's not quite ideal for me. Also, very grainy. Let's reduce the frequency here to, let's say, 11. You'll notice that's quite satisfying. We get a lot of the uh, a lot of the effect there of kind of an old comic book called pop art. And to make it less severe, we're going to set the layer color to a kind of a, a little beigey gray here. So, still not using the colour on my background, but if we set this to multiply, because it's on top of the colour beneath it, it's now a nice effect on top of the colour there. It looks a little bit like a comic book. And you can reduce the effect by reducing the opacity. Uh, and bizarrely, with, um, with tone layers, the opacity doesn't just make them fainter, it reduces the sides of the tone. So you can customize how intense those dots are. Look at that. Looks, um, looks rather pleasant, I think.